And good morning. You're flying the very unfriendly skies with Toronin. Today we are playing the F-94. As those of you who have been watching the last videos know that I have been grinding for the Cutlass like a fiend. Um, got something that I don't normally do because I normally don't stick my foot in the mouth. I've been doing this for a while. Three hundred videos, and I have so far managed to avoid what I did a couple of uh, nights ago. Um, I published a video with uh, VBAT, and we were discussing things, and we this is about the last of the series. And at that time, I uh, thought I had been rammed, and I was hit by a rocket uh, by Chief Holmes, which is about as legitimate as it gets. And I thought I'd been rammed, and I said something, and made an unkind comment. And, yeah. When you get one of those where you just think that you ought, wish you could have that one back, well, that was mine. And I wish I could say I'm sorry enough, but, uh, you know, once you shoot your mouth off like that, yeah. It's just one of those deals. There was just no... Uh, no way I was right and I want to be able to retract that and I want to ap publicly apologize to Chief Holmes you're a good player I shouldn't have made the comment and consider this an official apology from the channel and from me won't happen again uh, just one of those moments in the heat of the moment and I didn't look close to me enough and uh, anyway sorry bud uh, We'll try to do better. Okay, enough of that. We're in a uh, F-94 Starfighter. And we have captured the airbase and now we're trying, or the uh, command center, and now we're trying to capture the airbase. And one of the, a lot of fighters out here. Now, I don't like picking off the front of a group because it leaves you just wide open to the people that are following him. And I may have to scurry my little butt right out of the area. Well, I'm going to. the 262 that I shot down earlier. He's not happy. Can't say that I blame him much either. But, just like me, when you get to decide, decide you're a ground pounder instead of a high altitude fighter. I'm just a high altitude fighter without the altitude. You have to pay the consequences of that. All right, so where are we at here?
Medislav. I do love the guns on this thing. You bad boy. Let's see if we can. Damn, I'd like to be. Okay. You ever feel like you're getting targeted? <laughs> Alrighty. Let's see if we can... Uh, Red F2H is no faster than I am. Unfortunately not any slower either. But he's making a mistake here. In turning. And don't have much doubt he was after me, so. <coughs> Yak 19. All right, got him. guys live that long. Guess I'm a little off my aim. me to fight after all. There we have two H's out there. I like that aircraft is probably the second favorite in my stable. Feet of mine. There he is. He's in the target now. Gun range, I should say. One less. All right. Obviously, we've seen what happens when you leave ground attack. Uh, Aircraft alone, they will take your bases from you. And all the unfortunate results thereof. There we go.
Okay. I like that. Good way to start the day. All right, we got 11 aerial targets destroyed, three assists, uh, two sectors captured, 11 critical damage. Gotta like that. I need all the money I can get now. <laughs> I got a 13, 140 out of it, and 65, 50. Um, <coughs> Excuse me, 657 uh, free experience out of it. Team score, I think I earned that number one. And let's see where we got there. We're 30,000 away from my cutlass. And I don't want to sell this. I'm just going to flat admit I love this aircraft. I am very reluctant to get rid of it to go get a cutlass uh, <laughs> and what the cutlass brings to the party is uh similar though not as good firepower and that's for a number of reasons it has four cannons instead of uh, the singular uh gatling which means that you're coming in right around 720 uh damage per second instead of the 800 that you're getting and the guns are going to be more dispersed they're going to overheat a little faster, and they're going to cool down a little slower. Uh, yeah. Uh, it does come with four 500-pound bombs, if you want to slow down that much. The airspeed is going to be very good at uh, 683. You know, it's not the fastest thing out there, I believe the... Uh, if I remember right, and I go look at the tech tree in Germany, this is the fastest one I've seen. Maybe your experience has been different. Uh, no. No, they're exactly the same. Okay. Uh, it does come with... Um, yeah. It does come with uh, much better armament. But uh, I don't know what the range on that is. The effective firing range is not going to be as good, though. Uh, that's because it's throwing a 30 millimeter shell instead of a 20. And you can get similar ranges. If you doubt me, please go take a look at the uh, Warthog. Uh, that particular variant uh, is using a 30 millimeter. Uh, and the... Um, the sh casing that holds the propellant is about the size of a milk bottle and it comes out plenty quick it's called the avenger uh, cannon oh is that thing a massive uh, nasty beast and the thrust was so high uh, from it that they had to mount it on the uh, exact center line of the aircraft and if you look at that uh, as it rotates around and it comes to the nine o'clock position uh, you'll notice the cannons kind of marked off to one side, but the actual firing uh, position is at the 9 o'clock, and it is right on the center line of the aircraft. And the reason for that is if it's slightly offset to either side, it slews the entire aircraft around. <laughs> it's got that kind of thrust to it. Oh, it actually slows the aircraft down slightly, too. Believe it or not. Okay. So, there we go. Um, real successful game in this one. Uh, I've got to work on other aircraft today, obviously. Try to get that uh, three mil I need for the, uh, uh, for the aircraft, because I really just don't want to give this one up. Uh, I need 27,449. I might as well say 750 mil. Uh, mil. I don't know if that can be earned in one day. Uh, but nonetheless... Okay, and I'm also going to wrap this up formally. But again, my apologies by Chief Holmes. If you saw that, please, uh, you saw that video, and you hear my comments about Chief Holmes. They are wrong. I'm telling you, Flat House, I was wrong. I shouldn't have said them. 
uh, moment of peak and you know didn't look at the uh, cause of the damage enough and please understand that was in the end of a day where I had been rammed multiple times by multiple uh, robots and people so uh, overreaction on my part of and things said that shouldn't have been said so again Chief Holmes you're a good player sorry I said anything and Please consider this a full and complete apology. All right, folks, thank you for flying the very unfriendly skies with Toronto. Please remember to like the video and to subscribe. You all have a great day, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.